Hello everyone, meteorologist Nathan Gidley here checking in from the Live Doppler 15 Fury Weather Center. We are watching the chance to view the northern lights along the horizon this Sunday night. Now don't get your hopes up too much with this particular instance where we could see the northern lights. That's because cloud cover is working against us. I expect partly cloudy skies until the middle of the night and skies will turn mostly cloudy. So your best bet to see the northern lights along the horizon is going to be just past sunset through around the middle of the night. Now also working against us is the timing of the peak of the geomagnetic storm. We'll talk about that in a moment. But here's the official forecast. Better viewing opportunities will be found off to the north, especially in spots in this shade of blue. Here are the geomagnetic storm categories. Sunday afternoon, a G4 severe geomagnetic storm was observed according to the NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Now, unfortunately, the timing of this severe geomagnetic storm was during the daytime hours. So I'm anticipating a much more impressive aurora display in Europe compared to the United States. We still could see G2 to G3 geomagnetic storm conditions in our area past sunset into the overnight hours. So we could see the aurora come as far south as Illinois and Oregon, but the odds it goes as far south as Alabama and Northern California is low, but not impossible. We also take a look at the KP values. They describe the global magnetic disturbances in near Earth space on a scale of zero to nine. A higher value indicates better viewing can be found further to the south. So the official KP index forecast is for KP values up to six Sunday nights. So as you can see, that's right around where we could see the aurora along the horizon in our area. So stay up to speed with the latest information regarding this aurora chance by logging on here on Wayne.com. If you happen to capture any photos or videos of the aurora along the horizon, send them to us as well on Wayne.com. We'll cross our fingers for you, hoping to see the Aurora Borealis tonight. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley, Wayne 15 News.